bombers to North Korea as Kim's nuclear disaster heightens more fears. After the from Missouri on a long-range mission to the Pacific at the weekend, Russia has followed suit by sending its own high-tech jets to the region. The Russian Defense Ministry announced US and Japanese jets had escorted two of its missile-carrying Topolev 95 mis strategic bombers as they conducted flights over the Sea of Japan and the Pacific. In a statement, Moscow's Defense Ministry said, two strategic bombers Topolev 95 mis of Russia's Aerospace Force have carried out routine flights over international waters of the Sea of Japan and the western part of the Pacific Ocean. At certain sections of the route the Topolev 95 mis crews were accompanied by a pair of F-18 fighters, of the U.S. Air Force, and a pair of F-15. F-4 and F-2A fighters, of the Japanese Air Force. The 295 was is an improved version of the older 295, a Soviet-era four-engine, long-range, turboprop, strategic bomber that can be armed with a wide range of weapons including standoff nuclear-capable cruise missiles. Russia's own Sukhoi 35S Multiro fighters escorted the bombers during the mission, the Defense Ministry confirmed. The Defense Ministry said, long-range aviation crews make regular flights over international waters of the Arctic, the Atlantic, the Black Sea and the Pacific Ocean. All flights are in strict accordance with international rules of using airspace, without any violations of the borders of other countries. It comes after North Korea's rear earlier today, leaving around 200 people dead. It is believed 100 people were killed when an unfinished tunnel collapsed at Kim Jong-un's main nuclear testing site. And another 100 people subsequently died while attempting to rescue the first group of entombed workers. Experts had warned a collapse was likely, highlighting the danger of a cloud of radioactive fallout escaping from the site and spreading across an entire hemisphere. The disaster was revealed by Japan's TV Asahi today, although they could not clarify when the accident and subsequent doomed rescue attempts took place. Asahi said North Korean sources told them the collapse occurred as workers were working on the new tunnel. A second collapse took place as workers tried to rescue their colleagues. Pungari was the site of North Korea's sixth ever nuclear test on September 3. Kim's regime tested a huge 100 kiloton explosive which was around seven times as powerful as the bomb dropped on Hiroshima during the Second World War. This test is believed to have badly destabilized the mountainside-based facility and has prompted questions about whether Pyongyang's nuclear program remains intact.